Whenever Bokao fights, I am watching. And he just fought last week in China against this Kung Fu master we can see here flashing around. It's always interesting to see people of different disciplines, different styles face one another. This guy obviously is going to have a background training in China. When you have those fancy moves, you're going to bring a different style to the ring, which is always intriguing to see. So I think this fight just happened in September and I don't know how I missed it, but I'm going to catch you guys up today because we got to see Bokao fight Kido and then he fought Sanchai, and he's just been putting in so much effort lately, getting so much happening. Super exciting. So we're looking here, age difference is fairly substantial, size, all that, pretty much the same. And you can see this is in China. And that's an interesting part because this is a very controversial fight. If it was anywhere else in the world, I think the outcome of no contest would have been very different. So here we go, look at this, look at this opening. We're gonna slow motion that. It's gonna be a big sloppy round kick, or sorry, spinning side kick, right down to the kneecap. You can't kick to the joints. You're just not allowed to. They go through that all the time at Royals meetings. No attacking the joints to spinning side kick. Somebody in the knee could lead to long-term damage. So we're resuming the fight here. This guy, as we said, different style, so he's coming out high energy, big spinning side kick. That was nice. Doing a lot of things which maybe normally you wouldn't get away with, but because his energy level is so high, you can, in the first 30, 40 seconds, really, really fire away. But that one coming in very, very close to the groin, if not hitting it. Bokao taking his moment, going, yeah, I just want to recover. Spinning side kicks, they do sometimes land to the groin. That's just the nature of them. We've seen Raymond Daniels put people down numerous times by throwing them. You go a little bit too low and you catch them, but really in my mind, the onus is on the person throwing the kick. You're gonna throw it, you gotta control it. The guy comes out, throws another one. It's a lot of spinning techniques. We haven't really seen anything aside from that so far. Once again, coming very close to the groin. I would be warning if I was the ref, being like, yeah, okay, next time it's a point off. You can't keep targeting. Definitely shouldn't be going for kneecap, shouldn't be getting close to the groin on a spinning side kick. There, that one landed, but that one was low. Again low. Not cool, in my opinion. I would like to see Bokao start lighting up that thigh because the dude's fighting out of his side stance which makes that low kick, oh, that looked again low. The, the people from different styles, they're hard to compete against the first round, and then usually they start to fade because he's just putting in such hectic energy and you can't maintain that. But Bokao is gonna just truck forward. He's gonna be moving forward nonstop. You can tell he's gonna start getting a little bit upset now. That uh, spinning back fist the dude threw it was pretty much a spinning elbow. Bokao just on the hunt. Locks up. And now this is where the controversy begins. His opponent does not like the knees. So I'm going to assume that in his mind, obviously knees are allowed, but you're not supposed to be grabbing and dragging in. Bokao grabs. He doesn't really drag, he doesn't pull him in, but he's definitely not released. And that's a new thing in the K1 rule set. You cannot hold the head, especially with two hands. The ref calling for, let's return to the action. The clock is still running, which I'm not sure why. He finally calls time. I don't know why you would give somebody so much time. Usually if a fighter decides, look at, I'm not gonna fight and I don't like what happened, the ref has two choices. Number one, he's either gonna say you have to fight and you're gonna basically call it a TKO if he decides not to continue. Like the ref saying, let's go. It was one knee. You say, okay, no more knees. It looks like a straight up, we don't know what's happening situation because Bokao and the ref are not, he's like, the ref's not coming over and saying, no, you can't do that. But you can't just 
take an X amount of time. The ref will give you, if it's a groin shot, five minutes to recover. Let's see a slow motion, nice front kick there. It wasn't even a hard knee. It's not even like it landed flush. The front kick landed more flush than that knee. And this could just be a simple case of this dude put everything he could in for the first little bit and then went, oh shoot, but cow's still here and I'm not enjoying this anymore. Oh, look it, he need me, there's a way out. <laughs> I would be laughing too, or yelling. Like, get back in here, what are you doing? Especially after all those groin shots. It's always funny how I've been in fights before where the rule set is not clear. Or somehow my opponent trained for a different rule set. He's like, oh no, we're not allowed to catch kicks. I'm like, how the heck did that get lost in translation? You don't want to have kicks caught? All right, here we go. Finally back at it. Again, Bokao was controlling the head, but the ref is saying he didn't pull you. And this guy looks like he just has no interest in continuing. We're going to get a, a replay there because it looks like the ref is saying, yeah, he's not allowed to pull you, but he didn't pull you unless I missed something there. It's a very, very odd fight. Some highlights here. Yeah, so he had one hand behind, one in front. He releases. It didn't even hit him. It just went off his arm. So in terms of going, okay, there's, yeah, we've got those spinning sidekicks to the knee and the spinning sidekicks to the groin. In terms of this dude, this Kung Fu master going, oh, I'm damaged from an illegal technique. You can't even say that happened. All you can say is he threw an illegal technique and I don't want to fight anymore. What happens when that's the case? You lose the fight. Here is the decision. And it's ruled a no contest. What? That is garbage.